Hey boys and girls, this is Mr. Dalbury, and today we are talking about the jazz icon, the queen of jazz, the first lady of song. Yep, you guessed it, Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald was born on April 25th, 1917 in Newport News, Virginia. A few years later, her and her mom moved to Yonkers, New York. And after her mom's death in 1932, she moved in with her aunt. By 1934, Ella Fitzgerald was trying to make a name for herself in the streets. She entered an amateur competition at the world-famous Apollo Theater in Harlem, where she won first place. Soon after, in 1935, she met Chick Webb, a famous band leader and drummer, and she eventually became the lead singer of that band. In 1938, she recorded her first song, A Tisket, A Tasket. And in 1939, after the death of Mr. Webb, she took over his band and renamed it Ella Fitzgerald and her famous orchestra. The 1950s and 1960s was a great time for Ella Fitzgerald. This is where she earned her name, the First Lady of Song. And at the very first Grammy Awards in 1958, Ella Fitzgerald won two Grammy Awards, making her the first African-American woman to win a Grammy Award. By the 1980s, Ella Fitzgerald started to experience some big health issues. She recorded her last record in 1989, and her last public performance was 1991 at the world-famous Carnegie Hall. Unfortunately, Ella Fitzgerald passed away on June 15, 1996, at her home in Beverly Hills, California. In all, Ella Fitzgerald recorded more than 200 albums and 2,000 songs in her lifetime. Her total record sales exceeded 40 million. Her many accolades included 13 Grammy Awards, NAACP Image Award for Lifetime Achievement, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Since her passing, Ella Fitzgerald has been honored and remembered in many ways. Her amazing vocal abilities landed her the name the Queen of Jazz, and she created a new style of jazz called Scat. Well, boys and girls, it looks like we've run out of time for today. Join us next week as we talk about another great jazz icon. Bye.